Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on our math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and let's get started, okay? And let's take our time with this one. What we're talking about is place value here, okay? And as you can see here, I've got a whole number here, which is 9,123,456,000. Seven hundred and eighty nine, and here I've got a decimal point, and here I've got a number which we're going to talk about afterwards, okay? But first, let's focus on this number here. Let's take a look at this number again. This number is nine billion one hundred and twenty three million four hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine. So first, let's take a look at these numbers here. We know that this is in the ones place, okay? If I just had this number by its own, it would just be nine. Now, here we have the tens place and the ones place. That number is 89, okay? If I add another digit, that seven, this number would be 789. And here, just to help you, we have them. The ones place the tens place, and the hundreds place. That's going to be our first family right there. Our next family here is going to be in the thousands place. And look, just pretend that we don't see this and we don't see any of this. The only thing we're seeing is this right here. The six would be in the ones place, the five would be in the tens place, the four would be in the hundreds place. But because it is in the thousands family, this six is going to become 6,000. Here we have the tens and the ones. That would be 56 what? 56,000 is correct. If I add another digit, that number would be 456 what? Thousand. 456,000 is absolutely correct. So let's take a look at this number here. If I just had this number here, that would be 6,789. If I added another digit, that number would be 56,789. Now let's add another digit, digit to it. That would be 456,789. So if we go back up here, that's the ones place. That's the tens place. That is the hundreds place. Then these next three, one, two, three, that's going to be in the thousands family, okay? So again, here we start with just thousands. It's actually 1,000, okay? Then it's going to be ten thousands, and then it's going to be hundred thousands, okay? So, so far, so good, right? 456,789. So remember, here we have the ones, the tens, the hundreds place. Here we have the one thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. Now, remember, this is the thousands family. This is going to be the millions family, okay? So, just like everything else, we have th the one millions place, we have the ten millions place, and we have the hundred millions place. Okay? So, let's go ahead and read this. This is going to be three million four hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine. Now, let's add another digit. That would be twenty three million. 456,789. Let's add another digit to it. That's going to be the 100 millions, right? So here it's going to be 123,456,789. Okay? And now, this last one here, that's in the billions family, okay? And we just went over the millions the 10 millions and the 100 millions, 
Now we're going over the billions. And we can just keep going on and on and on. But if you know up to the billions thus far, you're going to be in great shape, okay? So here we have the one billions place. So that's going to be nine billion. So let's go ahead and read this number. Ready? Nine billion. 123,456,789. And there's another thing I want you to notice too. Here we have some commas. Okay? If you count, I've got one, two, three numbers there, then I add a comma. I have to separate the comma for every family. So remember, here we have the thousands family, so I need a comma after that, after the three numbers. Okay? And I've got three numbers here, so I definitely need a comma there. Okay? And now I've got the millions family there, and I need a comma there because I need space for the thousands family. And I've got a comma there, and I need space for the hundred, the tens, and the ones family. Okay? And then finally here, I've got the billions family. And remember, I could have 10 billion, and I could have 100 billions as well. And the next one would be trillion. Okay, so again, keep note of these commas right here. One, two, three, comma. Okay, so this number again is 9,123,456,789. Okay, now I've got a decimal point. And let me move this over a bit. Let's talk about this for a little bit, okay? Now that we've got this side all squared away. So here I've got a decimal point, okay? And first of all, whenever we have a decimal point, we know that it's not a whole number. The numbers on this side, they are not whole numbers. They are pieces of a number. They're fractions of a number, okay? So actually, this number here can be represented as a fraction as well. Over here on this side, on the left-hand side, they're all whole numbers. They're complete numbers. Here, on the right-hand side, they're fractions of a number. They're pieces of a number. And the way we know that is because it's separated by a decimal point. And every time you have a decimal point, okay, the decimal point symbols AND. So let's just read this number here. It would be 789 AND this. Let's read this number. 6,789 AND this number here. Let's read this. 56,789 and, let's read this number, 456,789 and, remember, that decimal point means and. Next one, 3,456,789 and, let's add another digit, 23,456,789 and let's add another digit 123,456,789 and and finally let's do this one 9,123,456,789 and wonderful so now we know that this decimal point means and so now let's take a look at the numbers on this side okay and remember on the left-hand side with the whole numbers, we start it with the ones place, okay? Well, we're not going to start with the ones place on the right-hand side. We're going to start with the tenths place. And notice how I say it, tenths, T-E-N-T-H-S, tenths, because that symbolizes that it's a piece of a number or a fraction. This is in the tenths place. So let's read this number, 9 million. Um, yeah, nine billion one hundred twenty three million four hundred fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine and one tenth. That's it. Now let's take a look at the next one. What's after the tenths place? What do you think it's going to be after the tenths place? Here I have the tens. The next one is going to be hundreds. So here we have the tenths place. This one is going to be in the hundredths place. That's the hundredths place, okay? So this is going to be 12 hundredths, okay? So let's read this. This is 
nine billion one hundred twenty three million four hundred fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine and twelve hundredths okay now let's take a look at the three so here we have the tens the hundredths what's going to be next that's right it's going to be the thousands place the thousands and because we're saying it with a THS thousands we know that that's going to be a piece or a fraction of a number so let's read it with the so this number here the one two three that's going to be 123 thousands so let's read this entire number together nine billion one hundred and twenty three million four hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine and a hundred and twenty three thousands okay now let's take a look at this four here we have the tenths place the hundredths place the thousands place now this is going to be the ten thousands place okay so this number here is going to be one thousand two hundred thirty four ten thousands okay so let's go ahead and read this number now this is nine billion one hundred twenty three million four hundred fifty six thousand 789 and 1,234 ten thousands and that's it now let's look at this five here we have the tenths here we have the hundredths here we have the thousands here we have the ten thousands and here we have the hundred thousands okay so this number here is going to be Twelve thousand three hundred forty five hundred thousands. That's a big number, isn't it? Well, not really. It's actually a, a fraction. It's a tiny, 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 tiny fraction. Okay? So let's go ahead and read this. This says nine billion one hundred and twenty three million four hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine and twelve thousand three hundred forty five hundred thousands okay now let's take a look at the six here remember here we have the tenths place here we have the hundredths place here we have the thousands place here we have the ten thousands place here we have the hundred thousands place and the six is going to be the millions place. So this number is one hundred and twenty three thousand four hundred fifty six millions. Wow, that's a super tiny fraction. It really, really is. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this number. So this says nine billion one hundred twenty three million four hundred fifty six thousand. 789 and 123,456 millions. Wow, boys and girls, we just went over a lot, a lot of place value. And we went over decimal place value as well. I want to highlight this, okay? So here we have the tenths place, that's one tenth. Here we have the hundredths place. So together, this would be 12 hundredths. Here we have the, I'm sorry, 12 thousands. I'm sorry, I was right. This is the 12 hundredths. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I could have sworn I said something else. So here we have the tenths place. Here we have the tenths and the hundredths place. So this is 12 hundredths. Now the three is going to be in the thousands place. So this is 123 thousands now the four is going to be in the ten thousands place so this number is going to be one thousand two hundred thirty four ten thousands the five is going to be in the hundred thousands place so this number is going to be 
12,345 hundred thousandths, and this six is going to be in the millionths place. So this fraction here, this decimal, is 123,456 millionths. And remember, the decimal point means and. So one very, very, very last time. You ready? 9,123,456,789 and 123,456 millions. Wow, boys and girls, you were outstanding. I am sure you paid attention. And remember, this is not a race. Let's master place value, especially with decimal points. Let's master that. So please, take your time. Remember, you can always view this lesson as often as you need to. With that said, parents, I want to thank you again. And boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at our next lesson. Please take care, everyone. Bye-bye.